All right, so today we're doing something a little different. I'm actually going to show you how to ship three different pies. We're gonna hop over here to our bakery. I'm gonna walk you through step by step and everything I'm actually gonna to use to show you how to properly ship these pies through the mail. If you choose the USPS, FedEx, or UPS, I'm gonna show you how we've been doing it and how you can do it safely. Everything that we're going to use in this video also will be down in the description so you don't have to be searching the internet for what I'm about to show you as far as supplies. So let's jump into these three pies. I'm gonna show you how we ship them right now. All right, so we are here in the bakery and I've got my pies here on our commercial table or stainless steel prep table. Now, we are going to do a pumpkin pie we're going to do a lattice one that's got a little nice little design on the top. And then you guys have been asking about crumb topped pies. So if you're going to be making some of these for the holidays or coming up very soon, we're going to go ahead and show you how we can properly ship these so they arrive perfect. Okay. And also the ones that we've got with a little bit of a design. So these are nine inch pies, by the way, nine inch. You can do this for 10 inch, eight inch, whatever size you choose. They're, they're relatively the same as far as the process, but there's a couple of different variations. So Stay tuned all the way through the end because I'm going to show you how each one of these gets packed and shipped. I'll show you the whole process and I'll make sure that I show you how I do it inside the box because the last video I know I did, a lot of you asked questions. I didn't unfortunately show you the whole process inside the box packing it. So let's get right into this. Let's head on over to our shipping department and let's get these things packed. All right, so what are you going to need to do this properly if you're going to ship a pie and you want to do it the right way? You've got to have a heating gun. You need to have some food grade shrink wrap film that is made specifically for direct food contact. Okay? That's very, very, very important. You cannot use any type of shrink wrap doing this. And you need a sealer. Now, this is a nearly $1,000 foot sealing machine. You don't necessarily need this. But we do have arm. Let me show if I can see where this one is. We have these over here, which are handheld. If you wanted to use the heat sealer with handheld. And you also need newsprint. This is packing paper. It's called newsprint packing paper. Do not use, I recommend you not to use bubbles or any type of uh, styrofoam peanuts. That is very annoying. Customers, if you're doing this as a business, they can't stand having peanuts. Those little styrofoam things all over the place. Plus, let me show you real quick. All right, so the other reason why you don't want to use those styrofoam peanuts is because they actually will settle differently. When you're putting a pie or any type of cookie, platter, anything on the top, as it gets shipped and it's handled and it's moved around, those peanuts begin to move all over the place. That will bring your product further down in the box and it could damage the product. So I know this because I've already tried it. So you want to definitely use packing paper. I will show you exactly how we put this in the box. So let me arrange my camera here so we can get this going and I'm gonna show you exactly how we do this. All right, so we have our pumpkin pie, got our nine inch pie. What I'm gonna show you now is how we take our shrink wrap, seal this up, and then I'll show you how we actually box it and we'll walk you step by step. So you wanna get your shrink wrap. The one that I use, by the way, is 16 inches. That means from here to here, it is 16 inches, which covers the pie perfectly, okay? And you're actually gonna have a little bit of excess left over and I'll show you how that works. So let me seal up the edges really quick and I'll show you guys how we seal this. So, the edges are sealed. That means these edges are completely sealed up. This is like a bag. You wanna take your pie and you wanna slide it inside. Now you're gonna have a little bit of excess, that's fine. You see how this looks? So you're gonna you're gonna basically shrink wrap this so secure the pie to the actual pan. That's what you're trying to do here. That secures it. And let's go ahead and seal it. Sorry about the close up of my, uh, my face there. All right, so we got that done, and now let me see the other side of it. And then we're gonna shrink wrap it. Now remember to always get, like I said, there you go, see how it is? I got all the excess off of the edges. Now we're gonna use our heat gun and we're gonna shrink wrap this. I would recommend also putting this down on the table where you are. Don't ever hold it while you're doing it because this heat gun is about 120 degrees. It's ridiculously hot, okay? So we got it nice and sealed, that's it. So now it's ready to be packed and boxed. There you go. Now you see how, see how it looks? It's nice and secure and you've got it 
sealed inside there, okay? So the pumpkin pie is ready to be shipped. Now, obviously you're gonna need a pie box. Now again, like I said, all of these materials that I'll have here, all this stuff, the, the shriek wrap, everything that I'm using, I'll have it down in the description so you guys can get this for yourself. Nine inch pie pit. Now, the box itself has to be slightly bigger than the pie pit, okay? So this is a nine inch pie fitting inside of a nine inch box, but it's slightly bigger. That's it. There's no movement though. It's just enough to sit, fit in nice and snug. So you can't put like a nine inch pie inside of an eight inch box, okay? It just makes sense. You don't want to do that. So now that's in here, let's box it up. And of course you can put whatever type of, of sticker you have or logo or whatever you might have. So we'll get our pies label. We got our nice little pie label here with all our nutritional information. You take that and put it on top, and then your pie is ready to rock. Rock and roll, that's it. Now, there's two things you can do. You can leave it like this, and you can basically put a little bit of a tape sealer here, just over top of the edge. I like to actually just seal it again, because this makes it look a little bit more kind of professional and clean and sanitary and all that good stuff. Okay? So you want to make sure that you kind of have it sealed up. Again, you make it like a little bag. And you're going to put your box inside, and you're all set to go. And I'm going to show you how we do the other two types. See this? There. Now, nice and kind of professional looking. Because, of course, if you're doing this as a business, I'm just sealing it up. Let me show you how I'm sealing this. Right here. I'm just sealing it up on my foot pedal here. Sorry about the wobbliness. I'm trying to do this one hand. <laughs> all right. So we're all set with the box. Now, now that we have the box... You want to make sure you seal this up, okay? And this will be nice and set and ready to go. It takes just a couple seconds. Now remember, these get really hot. You don't want to put your hand near this. It's super hot. You'll burn yourself. Seal up the box nice and quick. That's why I love shrink wrap because it's so durable and it's so easy to use. And it makes the process very simple. Boom. Look at this. Bam. Got yourself a nice pie. It ain't going nowhere. Nice and sealed, looks professional, got your label on there. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna box it up. So let me get a box. I'm gonna show you also, we don't pay for boxes. We actually use the USPS boxes. These boxes are free. This one in particular is 12 by 12 by eight. Okay, it's box seven. But it's 12 by 12 by eight. So let's, let's uh, show you how quick we can do this. All right, so that's what you do whenever you box things all day long, you do it really quick. So this box is set to go. This is 12 inches by 12 inches. It's gonna give you plenty of space for the nine inch pie, right? You see this? Now we're gonna fill this space up with paper. Let me show you how we do that. All right, so we got our newsprint. Here's how you wanna do this. You don't wanna just crumble it up into a big ball. You wanna kind of crumble it, and then you wanna set it in there. And then you're gonna set a second piece right inside here, okay? So you've got your second piece. You wanna crumble it up. Again, don't make a ball out of it. You wanna just simply crumble it up and then stretch it out. Watch. Now, you can see how that looks, right? Don't use peanuts, please. Just don't use styrofoam peanuts. It's not a good idea. Your product is gonna get damaged. You need a nice little bed, nice cushion bed. You see that? So inside here, you've got a nice little bit of space. You're gonna take this and you're gonna wrap this. And let me show you how we do this. So we take this and we put, I actually take it and put it inside of the paper and I wrap it up. Fold over the edges. All of this is good. You want this because this is extra cushioning and that's it. Nothing fancy. You don't have to be fancy about it. You don't have to tape it up. But all of this right here around the perimeter is going to help cushion this during transit. See that? And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to set it inside of here. Boom. See that? And it comes almost to the top. Now, around the edges, this will allow you to put a little bit of paper. One more sheet. So you crumble it up again. And then around the edges, you're going to place it inside right around the edges. And you want to leave it a little bumpy on the top, like this, because this adds extra cushion. Don't smoosh it all the way down. Don't pack it all the way. And then you're set to go.
Very simple, very easy. In the box, now, we just put the top on, and we tape it up. That's it, it's all set to go. So you got a free box, you got everything in there, nothing's moving around, right? So now, remember what I did before, I'm gonna show you the throw test. Let's do the throw test. Because you're gonna get a kick out of this, because every time I pack something, I know that during transit, it's gonna be a problem. There's gonna be some bumpy, bumpy road and all that, right? So, let me show you this. There's the floor, here's the box, okay? and I just threw it. So in case it gets thrown during transit or even gets dropped, it's not gonna go anywhere. So let's take a look and I'll show you exactly what I mean and then we'll go on to the next two boxes. All right, so here we are. I went over and grabbed it off the floor so we can go ahead and open it up and I'll show you. Let's go ahead and do this. Again, sorry about the video stuff. I'm doing this all by myself. I don't have an extra cameraman here today. All right, so here's the box. I'm gonna take the paper out. Remember we wrapped it up, right? All right, let's take a look. There's the side. We'll go ahead and move the box down and we'll go ahead and open this up and I'll show you what I mean and how well this packed and stayed perfect. We'll cut into it. And we'll go ahead and open it up. I love shrink wrap. This stuff is, we use it for our cookies, we use it for our bunt cakes, we use it for everything. So here is the grand opening, grand reopening. There it is, perfect. Nothing damaged, that's the throw test. Works every time. All right, so now that's a pumpkin pie. Now, you're gonna ask the question, well Damien, pumpkin pies during certain periods of the year, or time of the year, it may melt. Now you can add some ice packs around the perimeter of the box if you want that's perfectly fine. I understand some types of pumpkin pies, obviously your, the texture of the pie itself could potentially melt if it gets warmed up, and that could be a problem. So you definitely wanna do that if you wanna add some. Now during the fall time, in the winter time, and you're doing like the holidays, Thanksgiving dinner, you're shipping some of these, or maybe you're doing a pie during the, during the Christmas time, you wanna send it to a family or friend, you definitely want to um, add some extra packing around it, but you don't need ice because it's gonna to be too cold, okay? So now let me get the other pies. Let me show you how to do the crumb. The crumb is a little tricky, but I'll show you a neat little trick on how we do that, okay? All right, so we're back, and I've got, I went over to the bakery, picked up the uh, crumb, crumb top. Now this is a pie. Of course, as you can see, it's got the crumb on the top. Had a bunch of you actually ask, in the last video that I did about shipping pies, how can I ship a crumb? Because the top is different, and maybe the consistency, is there a different method to it? Yes. So this one's um, not necessarily a little tricky, but let me show you how we do this. There's two different ways you can do it. So you can shrink wrap this directly with the shrink wrap, as I showed before, right? Give me your shrink wrap. But let me show you the little trick that we use. Sorry for the close-up of my face there. <laughs> All right, so we got the crumb. Now, you can put this directly into your bag that you made with the, the shrink wrap bag. You can put this directly into this, insert it, and then you could shrink wrap this. Or, if you do it that way, you need to shrink wrap it twice because an extra wrapping of shrink wrap will ensure that that crumb doesn't go all over the box. Or, you can use these. These are called deli sheets, deli paper. Let me show you what this is. This is like a wax paper, and it comes folded. It's actually a folded piece. This one is a six by 10, six by 10. Again, this will be down in the description to help you out, okay? Now, what you can do with this, since this is a crumb pie, crumb top pie, like a lot of apple pies and stuff come this way. You could do it like this twice, or you could place this on top. Let me show you what I mean. Insert this in here. This is a great method. You can do this. You don't have to cover the whole thing because it's squared, obviously. It's not rounded. And then let me shriek wrap this, and let me show you what I mean. Sorry for the close-up of the end of my face. Now we've got it. Okay, let me show you how this works. Now you've got your, your pie, you've already sealed around the edges, right? So you've eliminated the extra, but you've got that little film on the top. That is gonna help during transit keep all of that crumb from kind of going all over the place. So let's go ahead and shrink wrap and I'll show you what I mean. And like I said, be sure, I know I've said it before, I'll say it again, just make, make sure it's food grade, food grade shrink wrap. It has to be food grade, meaning that it could touch food. There are um, certain chemicals, certain chemicals that are actually used in creating 
uh, shrink film that if it's not food grade, it's actually going to leave a plastic taste. Let me show you. There it is. It'll leave a plastic taste all over your product. So if you've got pies, cakes, whatever it is, or cookies in a platter, and it's not food grade, when you heat it up, that plastic taste will go all over the food. Plus, it's actually technically illegal. You're not supposed to do that. The FDA requires that any type of shrink wrap that's used for food has to be food grade shrink wrap for direct food contact. So be sure that you uh, do that. Now, there you go. Shrink wrapped, right? Check that out. So this allows, look, the crumb is not going to go anywhere, obviously. And that is how we do. And of course, the same method. I don't necessarily have to go through the whole process again. That same method as before, you basically put it into your box. You basically put it in your box, same thing. So you want to seal it up and do the whole nine yards, close it up, put your label, shrink wrap it, put it the same way, okay? So that's crumb. Now, as I mentioned, there's two ways. So if you don't want to do the paper, because maybe you just like, you know, it doesn't look really eye appealing when you open it up, doesn't look really delicious because it's got paper on it. This is okay, but I mean, obviously this is food grade um, deli paper, so it's okay. But you can leave this off, just shrink wrap this twice. So basically just put it through your shrink wrap, seal it, put it through your shrink wrap again, seal it, okay? So that's how you ship and pack a crumb topped pot. All right. So let me grab the last one, which is the lattice top one, and let me go get that for you. All right. Sorry about that. So we're back. I got my third and final pie. Now this is a lattice top pie. This is not something that's completely covered. So it has a little bit of, of some of the filling showing. Now, there's a different way I'm going to show you again. This is going to be a double shrink wrapped as well. Reason being is that because you're dealing with a pie that has a little bit of an opening. So if you have an apple pie that has that lattice over the top with the stripping, okay, you've got a little bit of the, that actual filling that's showing. You want to make sure that you do this twice, okay? Very similar to the crumb one, but don't you don't have to put the plastic or the um, deli paper on top. So let me show you really quick what I mean by that. And I'm going to shrink wrap this one. Again, sorry for my close up on my face. Anyways, okay. So you've got that and you've got your pie. Once you insert this, you're going to go ahead and seal it, but you're going to do it twice. This is going to ensure that any of the filling will not come out. Now, can Damien, can I ship pies that are frozen? Is it best to do that? Can I pre-ship them or pre-freeze them and then ship them? Yes, you can. As a matter of fact, these pies were made, but the day that they were done, I wasn't going to be making this video. So I actually froze them. These are actually frozen, solid frozen, okay? So can you freeze a pie before you ship it? Yeah, and it's actually recommended. You could do it with any of them, even pumpkin pie. Ship it frozen if you want, and then put an ice pack or two. Don't use dry ice. There's no need for dry ice. This is not a raw food product that needs to have the temperature so low that you need dry ice. Some people get that confused if this is new to you. So ice packs, you can put one or two ice packs on either side, and then you're packing, you're ready to rock. Don't use dry ice, okay? You don't need it. That's it. Shrink wrap it. So then this one would be shrink wrapped twice. I recommend twice. That's going to make sure nothing spills. And then again, the same boxing method as we did before. I won't do that here because the video will be 30 minutes, 40 minutes long. <laughs> Anyways, put it inside the box, box it up, you're ready to rock and roll. So that is how you ship three different types of pies and a few tips on how to ship them either frozen or fresh or with ice. Whatever time of the year, if it's seasonal, spring and summertime, definitely recommend freeze them. Put a couple of ice packs, call it a day, you'll be fine, okay? Now, that's how we do it, and if there's any questions that you have about how to ship pies, or if you have comments about the video, if it was helpful, give me a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching all the way through. Definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell notification, because we have over 800 or 1,000, I don't even know how many we have now, videos on our YouTube channel here. We help you get your food business up and running, giving you actionable tips that you can actually implement every single day and create your business, and... Stay tuned because towards the holidays, I've got a few other ones on how to ship certain holiday food items. And we're going to have those packing and shipping videos up very soon. I'll see you guys on our next video. Take care.